Today we're talking about how to make a easy book cover. This is not a substitute for using a, a proper book cover designer because they do a lot of other work looking at what's marketable and things like that. But this is just if you have newsletter sign up magnet, for example, and you want to put a nice pretty cover on it, this is a nice way to do it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with custom size 1600 by 2560. That is the size that um, Kindle recommends for their covers. If you want to, um, Canva has a preset ebook cover option, but that's for Wattpad. So it's slightly shorter, but either one works to be honest. Um, but if you were going to put it up on Kindle, you should probably use their dimensions. Okay, right then. Now this is a dead simple cover. So what we're going to do is we're going to find some pictures. We're going to have two images, one at the top, one at the bottom, and then a little bit in the middle where you can put your title. You could use the templates and swap out the text, you know, just change the words, but that's not what we're going to do. We're going to go to elements. Let's search for couple on the beach, maybe some sand. Okay, and we're going to look at photos. That's cute. Um, right. I don't know if everybody has the sliders. If you've got a free account, you might not have the, the choice to check free, but I'm just going to look at free images for now. Let's have a look. Something beachy. As you can see, there are lots of fun images. Well, I like that one because it's got a nice little pop of color. So. Let's use that one and uh, oh, I like that one. That looks like a nice billionaire's beach resort type thing. Right. So there we go. So those are the top and the bottom images. But now at the moment, it looks a bit bitty, doesn't it? I mean, you could put, just put your title there, but it's a lot nicer if you could make it a bit fuzzier. So what we go back to elements and we put in Blur. Let's try blur. Ah, there we go. That one doesn't have a crown on it, so that is free. Right, we take that, we rotate it. And we stick it in the middle. We might want to make it a little bit bigger so that we so that it goes over the top of the sky on that one. We don't want to have a very stark line. Now sometimes you can still see the white the, the sharp line there. So what you do put it in the right place, then you duplicate it and you duplicate it. That's it. There we go. Mm, think down a bit, down a bit. There. The other thing you can do is to make these a bit bigger. So that you get more of the lady in the picture and then move her up a bit so that you get there we go so we can get her nice red dress maybe that could be a bit bigger as well maybe not that big <laughs> okay and then you give it a title uh, I don't know Billionaire's Beach Resort. And let's find a nice font. Great Vibes is a nice swirly font. Let's find that one. Great Vibes. There we go. Billionaires, and then we'll copy and paste. Beach hideaway. I don't know why billionaires. I don't really like billionaires, but there you go.
Now then, that looks okay. Let's move that down a bit. And you need your name. So let's find author name. And pop that either right at the top there. But that kind of gets in the way of your people. So let's put it down at the bottom here. I think that you still get the image of the beach resort, even though your author name is on there. Right. So let's change the name to white. Can we? Does that show up nicely in white? No, it does not. Mm. Let's have a look at effects. Lift. That might work. Might work better in black. Or maybe something like, okay, something like orange, because there's a little bit of orange in her dress. And then let's give this, what colors have we got from the picture? Uh, you could have blue, that's too pale. That's a bit boring. Let's go for red, because that hits her dress very nicely. And then what can we do about this? We could actually have that in the same color and then we could put another bit of blur behind it maybe so for this one we need a different blur we don't want the same one because that's very boxy we want something more nebulous like this right what have we got let's tilt it so that it fits behind the author name and maybe shrink it a little bit. What happened there? There we go. And it needs to go sort of there maybe. That's quite good, but you still can't see this bit. So let's duplicate that. Copy and paste. Control C, Control V. And position it backwards behind the name. Oh, that looks lovely. Right. So we get that one. Shift and select the other one. Group them together. And then you can move the whole thing around as a bunch. And you can also move it down a bit so that you can still see the big boat. Because, you know, big boat's important when you're a billionaire. Right. Um, and then... can reduce the transparency a little bit so that it's not quite so obvious you it still shows the name highlighted but it's not quite so obvious there we go there there we go that's a fairly simple book cover now all you have to do is download it as a jpeg um and it's all good to go. If you found this useful, please share. And if you could subscribe to the channel, I'd be really grateful because it really helps me. If there's anything you'd like me to uh, teach, teach you how to make, let me know and I will work out how to do it and then I'll, I'll do a tutorial on it. Um, I'll probably do a few more book cover tutorials as time goes on because I like making them. All right. Thank you.